With plans for a TikTok IPO going nowhere, the company's parent is reportedly now offering to buy back up to $3 billion worth of investor shares at a valuation of $300 billion. The company facing pressure from Chinese regulators and U.S. lawmakers, but its explosive growth is still making U.S. companies like Google and Meta, they are sweating. Joining us right now to talk more about this is Bradley Tusk, Tusk Ventures CEO. It's nice to see you. We haven't seen you in quite a while. Would you invest in TikTok if you could? Um, I would, although it's interesting. So last night at dinner, I, I knew I was coming on to talk about this. Yeah. My kids are 16 to 13, and I asked them, give me your sort of analysis of each platform. And face, Facebook, they've never even been on. Instagram to them is outdated. They like TikTok right now, but they like Be Real even more, which may say that while TikTok's at the very top right now, 12 months from now, it could be different. So if you had a dollar today and you could invest it in TikTok, Meta, Google, I'll put Be Real on that list for those uh, folks who don't know. Be Real is a, a new social media site that effectively is trying to encourage people. They, so they sort of force you to take a picture at a certain time uh, daily so it's not, you're not just showing the best of the world. You're showing sort of the realistic version of the, that's why it's called Be Real, right? Yeah, there's no, there's no likes. It, it theoretically sort of mitigate some of the harms of, of Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. So which one do you like? Look, Google overall, because it, it's got so much going on as a company that it's not reliant on the whims of a 16-year-old and 13-year-old. If you took them out of the mix, I would actually go with Snap. Snap seems to be the one platform that they consistently use all of the time, no matter what else is happening in the world, no matter what kind of other option pops up, they're pretty consistently on top of Snap. What is your sense? There is a um, sort of investment thesis by some that TikTok eventually really will get blocked by U.S. regulators. And if that happens, it opens up lots of opportunities for all of these other players. I mean, look, that's logical. It makes sense. But we saw Trump try to do that a couple of years ago. Nothing really came of it. Um, and same thing. I asked my kids last night, do you care that TikTok is a Chinese company? Not in the slightest. And I think the best corollary is DJI, which is the biggest drone maker in the world, and drones have even more potential to do harm um, than social media platforms. DJI is a Chinese company. They control 76% of the U.S. market, and there's no regulation whatsoever to, to limit that. Right. So we might talk a big game, but rarely does anything ever actually happen. Bradley, you're an investor, but you're also a policy guy. What do you think the right policy should be for TikTok? Or you mentioned DJI. So, well... Two things. So one, for the platforms, it's eliminate Section 230. Uh, the platforms should not be exempt from liability from the content that is posted on them. And once they have to all of a sudden account for all the toxic content, then you'll see them doing a good job with content moderation. So that's number one. Uh, number two, with Chinese companies specifically, yeah, I mean, I think we need to put, you know, create almost a new type of tariff, right? Tariffs are always on physical goods being shipped from one country to another. Now it's effectively we need sort of a digital tariff um, that accounts for the fact that if there are products from other countries that we don't want here or are afraid of, we make it, we give consumers uh, an incentive to not use them. So you would do it through tariffs. You wouldn't do it through blocking them based on sort of national security grounds. You know, if look, I think that you could on a you know, case by case basis use national security, but I think that more broadly. You're going to have dozens and dozens and dozens of companies that pop up like TikTok or like DJI from China or Russia or other countries that worry us. And I think trying to make every one of the natural security exception is really hard to do. And something with tariffs where you could just start to apply it as you need to up and down would, would be better.